The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. You said last week that the Puritans saw family as the basic unit of society and a little church in itself. Yeah, in the light of this understanding, we began looking at the, the Puritan view of family life. Namely, the family life as a calling and the family life as a church and a seminary. Now, so we looked at the family life as a calling, and today we will graciously tackle the family life as a church and a seminary. Now, so the family life as a church or as a seminary. As a seminary. So there was a very high expectation from the parents of the Puritan family. Especially the father, when viewed against the Puritan's idea of family as the seminary of church and state. So they never viewed the family just as a seminary in respect to the church, but a seminary in respect to the state. They were producing people to serve the church and they were training people to serve the state. Now, with the principles of the kingdom of God. Now, one share as a Ebusiano say, Nipa, a free Mubebano, Obenya, and Titia, Tisewa, where ye are so for dear for an answer, what ye so for Ediama Ebusiano Keke, Nemo, Moye, Ediamo Minos. That is why I said there was this high expectation of the Puritan parent to do much more, to raise children for the church. And to raise them for the state. When you know, I can say Puritan for one day, Mundi, and now for no, was she no more can see be brave every one. It's answer, Mofran, what it won, no, I share coins or betty to own, so a betty to nipa, a bet to me cried at this off war, a dear ma, a busiano, any or my no impo. It is not enough to give birth, you have to raise the child. And no swank, say, your bell will mark, ye can, is a betty to ye. The caring is as important as giving birth. This is a responsibility that the Puritan did not joke with. They took it very seriously. We na eye asudia Puritan for no ni wa grokra. Now let's go to Judges chapter thirteen. Mumi yenche atimwafu ngomano itidumi yenze. Judges chapter thirteen. Then let's skip the verse one and begin from verse two. Judges thirteen. A certain man of Zora named Manoa from the clan of Danites had a wife who was childless, unable to give birth. Now, bear me be wawa of free Zora of free down for Ebusu and Bimwa, needing Eddie Manoa, 
The angel of the Lord appeared to her and said, You are barren and childless, but you are going to become pregnant and give birth to a son. The now see to it that you drink no wine or other fermented drink and that you do not eat anything unclean. You will become pregnant and have a son who, whose head is never to be touched by a razor, because the boy is to be a Nazarite dedicated to God from the womb. Now, she will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Israel, every Philistine for and services. Then the woman, then, then the woman went to her husband and told him, "A man of God came to me. He looked like an angel of God, very awesome. I didn't ask him where he came from, and he didn't tell me his name." And Obano Baba Katre Nukunu said, "Unyankupa onipa." But he said to me, you will become pregnant and have a son. Now then, drink no wine or other fermented drink and do not eat anything unclean. Because the boy will be a Nazarite of God from the womb until the death, until the day of his death. Oh, can't tell me, say, share. Rubenin saying, I will obey my nephe, and no will be sa and now and Sabiara, na in Nibibiara and Montier, Nabofrano, by you and Yancopon to have for a free Yafunumo, the Akosi Nuda. Now, my interest is in verse eight. Baby, I'm a nature parano, a new and watching. Then Manoa prayed to the Lord, Pardon your servant, Lord. I beg you to let the man of God you sent to us come again to teach us how to bring up the boy who is to be born. Amanua ye a radim pie say, Oh, a radi, when Yankoponi pa, was mano, ma, or by yen channel, em rebu, now omechre yen dear, yen ye, a bofra, or rebellion. Pardon your servant, Lord. I beg you to let the man of God you sent to us come again to teach us how. To bring up the boy who is to be born. How eurade ma unyanku poni pa wosmano mano ba yen cheno omechire yen die yenye abofra wari babe wonon. Then Manua prayed to the Lord. Now that verse nine, God heard Manua, and the angel of God came again. Unyanku poni ye Manua unyanku pon bofono. So it's not enough to give birth to a child. Now, when the, the, the birth was announced to the lady and then transmitted to the husband, the husband said, God, let the angel come again. Let the man of God come again and to teach us how to raise the boy. And because God was pleased with the request, the angel came again. Reiterated the instruction he gave to the, the woman, to the man as well, what the child is going to become and how they should raise the boy. Giving birth is important. But it is more important about caring and raising the boy. When we talk about church, so we are saying that the Puritans, they saw the family life as church and a seminary. Sorry, 
The word church lends itself to a lot of interpretations. A lot of interpretations. But in this context, I will limit myself to two because that is how the Puritans saw it a church in the home. That's all to the Puritan, the people in the home, that is the family, are seen as a community of believers who have accepted Jesus as Lord. Everyone in the household is seen as a community of believers. God's new community. People who have accepted Jesus who are called the church. What that means is this. The children. The slaves. The helpers, elderly relatives who lived in the house, and whoever was in that home were seen as brothers in the Lord, including the wife. Or the husband, brothers in the law. So your wife is a sister in the law. Don't beat her. Your wife is a sister in the law. Don't beat her. Your husband is a brother in the law. Don't beat him. You have to be careful. You see, how beautiful it will be when I wake up in the morning and I see my son. And I say, Sammy, praise the Lord. Brother Sammy, how are you? don't know how you respond. Say, brother Eric, I'm doing well. Now, Eric, some of these things, but that is that is how it should be. No no God is my father. But it doesn't mean that he is my children's grandfather. God is my father. But he is not my son's grandfather. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father. So he is Jesus' Father. And my Father. And if my son is born again, Jesus is saying that our Father. So God is my Father. He is my son's Father. He will be my grandson's father. God is our father. Not my son's grandfather. God is Jesus' God and our God. He is Jesus' father and my father. John 20, verse 17. John chapter 20 and verse 17. I want us to begin to change our mind. Let's see the Christian home as a church. Everyone, everyone is a brother. John 20, 17. Jesus said, Yes, you can say, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go, go instead to my brothers and tell them, Look at Jesus. He is referring to the Peters as my brothers because he knows that Peter's father is his father. 
Okay, say yesu, every petro no my yen is your phone say, Ninyanum, a sanse, or co won yina weja eho. And tell them I'm ascending to my father and your father. Me co meja any mweja to my God and your God. My God is my son's God. My father God is my son's father God. Your wife is your sister. In the Lord. Treat her well. Secondly, to the Puritan. The home. If you know where the family dwells must be seen as a place where active worship service goes on with Christ as the center. The home if you must be seen as a place where active worship service goes on with Christ as the center. Christ as the center. There must be active service. There must be worship. There must be opening prayer. There should be testimonies. There must be preaching. There must be prayer. There must be intercessory prayer. There must be announcements. There must be benediction. Yes. What we do in church, we ought to do it at home. Active service. The home should be Zion. The city of the living God. Where we can enjoy innumerable company of angels. In the home, there must be that blood that speaks better than that of Abel. They also saw the home, the family, as a seminary. Now, when we are saying we are talking about a seminary, we mean a special school. Providing education in theology and religious history. Targeted at preparing students, in this case, the family, for priesthood or any Christian service or any other service, as you say, any other service. Na enumuno obo modin siye siye ni pe womu se suyanfwa. With the values and principles of the kingdom of God. See, according to John Giri, an English Puritan clergyman who wrote a lot about the lives of the Puritan. He reveals that the typical old English Puritan saw the family as a church both in regard to the persons and exercise. So when he says both in regard to persons and exercise, what he is trying to say is that those in the home must be Christians and they must be practicing Christians. Because Christians don't practice Christians. So they saw the family as church. Both in regard to persons in the home. Every person in the home should be a good Christian. And in exercise, so they must be practicing Christians. They admitted no one into the home such as fear God. If none into the home, Unless you fear God. Now, we pray that we are busy at this time. We are not busy. 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 We are not bus
you don't you are not admitted in the home if you don't know fear God. Another point is this. They, le they labored that those who were born in it might be born again to God. Because they, they know that when you went to the altar, God was expecting from you godly offsprings. So they work hard that anyone that is born into the home is born again unto the Lord. Is answer one nim ye so be biara obesira na warrior so e wo nyame mu no esese wo de mofra wo nim Christ ebeba into wo ye ho adwuma pa. Now we together. Muti you have to work very hard. Esese wo ye adwuma den pa pa pa. Work very hard. Adwuma den ye. One day two of my children came to me. One be, was 13, the other was 12. Debi me ma me nu e ba me nchan ba ko nu adi since we, we want to be baptized. Now, they say we want to be baptized. I I guess they did. Pastor, we say we boy Jesus, we and we see cross. The last one, I came home recently. I said, "Where is Sarah?" And they said, "She is going to be baptized." Any time that they call for baptism. She wants to be baptized alone. And in fact, in her mind, she wants me to baptize her, which I don't have to, <laughs> to be baptizing before now. And then, so she wants to be alone, alone with the pastor. She doesn't want anybody to see her that she's baptizing. I don't understand. But recently I came and said, oh, Ira is going to be baptized. Who is going to do that? The pastor in the company of nobody. <laughs> the big brother is going to stand there. And then she is going to be baptized. And then when I came on, I saw her. I say, brother, uh, sister, Ira, how are you? Praise the Lord. You are born again. Yakro, Mwakuma, cry, a friend, Irano, me be fear, and we saw her here. I say, Oko, near Bonesu, no, 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 and praise the Lord. And she responded, And eh? with some excitement. So in my home, everybody is born again. So they don't just follow me as the pastor's children. They should know God for themselves because God is their father. They should have direct access to him. They don't go to God through me. Not at all. And you will never see set software map. No more. One casa is as well. Who in your is answer when your coupon or your wager. Now let's continue. It was so in the Puritan home. A Puritan for fear. The husband is seen as the pastor and the wife as the assistant. Fear one who no okuno no set or software now or you didn't so a bit yet. So but for me, I will say this, that among the two, any of them that is spiritually strong can take the lead as the pastor and let the second one be the, the assistant. Now, what I am saying is that I am not going to be able to do it, but I am not going to be able to do it, but I am not going to be able to do it. The husband pastor was responsible to channel the family into religion. To take them to church on the last day, oversee the sanctifying of the entire day, and the entire day should be holy and sanctified unto the Lord. So the pastor, the husband pastor, is responsible for taking them to church. And the wife, deputy pastor, she will try and support. You see, anytime that a man calls for prayer and the woman is always giving an excuse, she's effectively destroying the family as a church. Anytime the woman gathers the children and the man is doing something else, the man is being a problem to what God wants to do. 
Abribia ma ena non so beboa ebusu ana no se mumra mi am mpae na okru no emfa ne ho ense mu bi no na che se oya se asore no see the husband pastor leads the family in worship daily worship ideally twice a day okay. morning and evening okuna oya sofo enu odi ebusu ana nim e wo sori emu anopa ene anwumre see the occasion where the father and mother and children will gather sing some songs read some scripture have some devotion is long gone in this jet set age everybody is running everybody will leave the house at this time and so now there is no devotion no they don't gather around god they only gather around money adia ya ye hu ne se wo enema abrabo mu no se abusua no si awo to dwom walking ken nyame asem no oba mpae no e ya yira Morning and evening prayers was once an established institution in the Christian home. Today, do we still have it? But pay attention to this. Please. As the number of domestic prayers in the home decreased, the number of home problems and the rate of divorce increased. And I want us to read together if you can. As the number of domestic prayers in the home decrease, the number of and the rate of divorce Increase. And pendo doa na empai bo eni nyami asem suani adi e kofom e wo fidu ahudu omo no sabre do doa na anso eni na yemu suani ahudu omo no o how ni amani e do so na wari jayenso e kosro. I want us to pay attention to this. I see a tear here, Papa. Let's do something about this situation. Nani ya kin kin yen yen hubribi because it is not just um. What God expects from you is not just to give birth, but to raise them, like I said. And it is a responsibility. We need to draw God in and draw the family in for a generational blessing. And if you are listening to me, I want you to ask yourself, what can I do different from today onwards? How do I bring God back? into the family how do i make my home a church and a seminary now as a seminary see the puritans saw the father pastor as the one who is to cut his cut key guys <laughs> cut tea. Guys. They said, so he's a catkiss to the family, the children in particular. And he teaches them the faith. He examines the whole family when they have, we have returned from, from service. And then he asks questions to find out where they didn't actually grasp what was said. And then try to fill in the gap for the church. Can you imagine how beautiful it would be when we cultivate this habit? Anytime that we come back from church, instead of especially the women rushing to the kitchen and then just standing on the stove, we all sit quietly. The father asks a few questions as to what you understood, what you picked. And then those ones you couldn't grasp, the father, who is supposed to be the pastor, fills in the gap. 
na munhwe ni fe a eye se ebusuano akwa sori aba na eja na fre won atena se ebi se obi ani ote ye na nia wentuma ntiasi ye no wetumi aboa no amwenye mu ntiasi ye and above all and this will be the last for the day they are in the ideals in seeing the family as a church and a seminary the parents the pastor and the assistant pastor becomes exemplary they try to live a life that will portray God to the children. Na ni abro so kura no eja ene ena wo ye awofo wa busuan mu no wo bomode abo ombra eyi nyame so mpadi e de kire nipa nyina se ehweso. See when your child says you are a man of God then you are really a man of God. Pe se wo ba ka se wo ye nyankopon ana se nyame nipa na wo ye nyame nipa. See people don't know us they see us from afar. They meet us, especially those of us pastors and elders. They meet us in church. They meet us dressed like this. But your child is so close to you. When your child says that is a man of God, then you, you go to heaven. No way. There's no way you are going to miss it. Yes, sorry, sorry, if your parents here try to be a good example. So in the midst of all that we are saying, we are saying that above all, be an example. Don't teach them how to lie. Don't. You only teach them how to lie by showing them how to lie. Se opese o kire mo fra no se de o bedi ntru a na je se wan kasa wudi e de a kire o be an example but modi aso be yen hwesopa this fellow was shocked by the by the dad eh eh onue yi ni ni papa ye ye no eh eh wo so no ana se bo no pisa father said something ni papa no ana ne ja kokan bibi then this lady said oh dad and she didn't speak they were, they, were, they were in a vehicle. They were driving back home. And then the man said something Na, to the taxi driver. And then the daughter said, oh. And they came home. Girl just went to her, her room. And the daddy saw that she was somehow offended. Then they had to sit down. The, the the old man called the daughter. I see, uh, the man was driving carelessly, and then the girl said, "But I thought you were a pastor." The taxi driver was driving carelessly. That's why I said. But the girl said, "No, but I thought you were a pastor. You should know better." Aba ye ine ni papa ene ti ka numuna taxi bi ebe chwa wanguna papa no kasimbi o kan ye pe eno huse. Nebano asemna apimno. Ena ni baba neka se, oh, meja. Wanka se biu. Ubedu fiye pe, abaye ya kwa shene de emne. Janu unse asemno, aho bano pa anase nebano. Chobomo di enchube eno. Enu weye se ochire mse, oh, taxi driver no, anase droba no, wamomo di en, nansu waka se debi, debi. Minim se wye sofu. Yes, and some P, yeah. Many, many, yeah. many, so, many issues. Many issues. Many issues. So I want us to take a decision today. Let's take a decision today. So that we can make the difference. The world is looking for a godly family. Once they find one in you, they will respect the institution of marriage and family. God bless us all.